There's many different types of breeds of cattle in the state of Florida. Again, it's a unique place with the humidity and heat and uh, mosquitoes. You have a Brangus breed, which is a 5 8 Angus, 3 8 Brahmin. You have a Brayford, it's a 5 8 Hereford, and 3 8 Brahmin in them. The Charlais are an exotic breed that come from Europe. A lot of people use them on a terminal cross. Uh, they'll take, say, a Brangus cattle and put a Charlay on them and uh, wind up selling the calf off there, not keeping any replacements. If you want to keep on growing your herd as you cull the older animals out, some people will keep some of the heifers off of their cattle there. So you'll find some people with the Brangus cattle will put a Brangus bull in there solely for uh, raising replacement heifers and use Charlais on the rest of them. So you can tell the Charlais calf because he's going to be white and all. And also uh, used to be tougher on them grading and now if they have the Charlais with a black nose even though he's got a white hide he is qualified for the certified Angus beef program. It adds a lot of value to the product on that. So before they would dock you and said oh it doesn't have black hide they would pay a premium for cattle that have a black hide on them. If they're more than 50% Angus, they qualified for the certified Angus beef program. We can't consume all the beef we produce, so we've got to produce what the consumer wants on that. And if the consumer's going to pay more for one type of beef, that's the one we want. We, we want to maximize our profits on that. And uh, if a red cow is going to eat more than a, the same amount as a black cow, but a black calf's going to sell better, I want black calves there, so that's the whole thing. And if the market dictates down the road that they want red cattle or they want something else, we'll adapt and learn how to raise those animals. But the Brahmin influence has really helped the Florida cattle industry in there. And uh, some people have a preference. They still like a red cow or they like a black cow. And uh, whatever they like, they're gonna raise on it. But most operations have changed over to the Brangus cattle that will take the heat tolerance and all and handle the stuff in South Florida. And you have Angus breeds more to the North Florida to where they don't have the wet conditions. Those are pretty much your breeds in the state of Florida. We brand all our cattle. We have a registered brand. There's a brands association with the state of Florida and they keep track of the brands in there. You can have a registered brand um, Again, it's uh, a security issue on that. You want to have your cattle branded. Also, as the cattle go into a feed yard, they could look at the brand and say, hey, those cattle are doing better than this other brand on there. You know, they identify them for life. If you go to sell them at the market, say your cow gets out, we have the, I guess, the advantage on not having a lot of neighbors where we're at. Some people have, 10 neighbors around their property on that and they could get their animals get across there and not knowing whether their animal if you have a black cow and that man has black cows may not know that they're selling your black cow a lot of people can't tell those difference but if you do put a brand on them a lot of people year brand their cattle on their shoulder so they know how their age on that and then put a holding brand on their hip and it's registered on whatever side you want to put it on and all uh, and it's there for life till that animal dies. It's against the law to brand over a brand. It's against the law to alter a brand once it's on there. Now some people brand their cattle, their brand isn't registered and all that. They just say, well, my name is Bob Thomas. I'm gonna put BT on there. Or, uh, Charlie Brown, I'm gonna put a CB on. Well, it's not really the way you ought to do it. It identifies them. Um, People, some people will ear tag their cattle and use that for identification. They may not have good pens or a squeeze chute in order to restrain the animal to brand it. They can lose the tags. That brand will be there for life on that. And uh, now they've got an electric brand that a lot of people use. I don't like them myself. They seem to slide on an animal. You have to be real easy on applying them. We like to use a stainless steel brand that makes a clean brand. It doesn't have to get that hot or anything. We just feel it's an important thing and uh, 
As you look at brands on people's place, you can see where they take pride in putting the brand.